All right, all season long, we've seen JoJo Siwa and the contestants of the Fox series Special Forces World's Toughest Test push through challenges that would break almost anyone. The Dance Moms alum has taken the competition very seriously and is part of the season finale. The big question, will she be the winner? We'll find out. JoJo joins us now along with directing staff, Javon Q. Quarles. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right, JoJo. Absolutely. You can say it. We're here. I know he's been putting you through the paces on this show. Anything mm -hmm. you want to say to him? We're all friends here, okay? Anything you need to say? <laughs> Uh, you know, my mom has a lot to say to him. <laughs> I, it's, it's crazy. I, uh, no matter what, I could immediately snap back. All he has to do is this damn laugh that he does. And if he does this laugh, I immediately get terrified. Uh, but now after getting to know Q a bit, uh, uh, you're, you're a delightful human. Oh. But I'm still terrified of it. <laughs> this show is so keep that. this show is so intense. It is real. It is gritty. It right. is out there. Yes. Uh, talk to me about being a part of this competition. How did you get to the final? You know, I think truly, like the the other recruits that were there with me, we all kind of pushed each other to to stay, to not quit. We said, you know, like the final seven of us, so it's it's the five of us that are left, plus Jack Osborne and Bodie Miller. We were like, none of us are quitting. We're all dead. We're gonna be the final seven. And then, you know, Special Forces took its, took its test on us, and, and unfortunately two left us. But the five of us were just like, we were rocks for each other. We were, none of us were going. Got to get in there. And Q, I mean, when you're sort of leading this here, what are you trying to get across? You can't take it easy. These <laughs> That's are, the laugh. These are, <laughs> these are people who come from all kinds of different backgrounds. They're not used to people in their face and, no. and, and on top of them. No. Oh, well, we, you know, we had to come into it with an idea of giving them a real true reality check of what it was like when I went through the program for being a Navy SEAL, Marine Recon, SAS, and SBS. So we wanted to really match that energy for them and give them an idea getting of where it takes to kind of break through that mindset that you can become and do whatever you want to do but you got to like push through that that brick wall and you know Jojo for you a lot of people know you from something that's very different from this no. uh, from reality <laughs> from YouTube yeah. and some of your startup on, on YouTube why did you want to be a part of a show like this and to push yourself like this yeah I I've been a kid for a really long time I've everything's been always skewed younger for me and I think I've been craving that danger, craving that adult, craving that, I mean, like, push that challenge. And when I, truthfully, when I saw season one of Special Forces, I was like, I'm brutally offended. Why did I not get asked to be a part wow. of this? Uh, but then, you know, I got asked to be a part of season two, and immediately when I got the offer, I dropped into a push-up, and I was, like, joking with my mom, and I was like, I'm ready! And she was like, so you want to do it? And I was like, I want to do it. And, uh... It was scary. It was scary for my family to let me do it, uh, but um, it's the best thing I've ever done. Off and running, and I heard that your mom and dad didn't necessarily want you to do the no, show. No, they did not at all. My, my dad was a little more chill. My dad was like, yeah, go get him, kid. Like, that's kind of my dad's vibe. But my mom, on the other hand, we, we actually didn't talk for like a month, for like a half a month. Uh, and then finally she came around. She gave me a, a bracelet that said, keep going. She said, I, I've come to terms with you doing it. Here's a bracelet that says, keep going. But what it really means is don't quit. We have uh, a clip from the show of your parents and the message to you. <laughs> Hey Jojo, it's your mom here, and I wanted to let you know how proud of you I am. I do have somebody else here. Hey Jojo, it's your dad. Um, stay strong, be the best version of Jojo that you can be. Don't quit, don't be anything besides brave, and remember you only get one chance and nobody can change you. What's your reaction when you see that? I know for you, you said also on this show that you've grown up it, on the spotlight with people judging you, mm -hmm. people always sort of crit critiquing everything yeah. that you do. I mean, and, and then you see that message from your, your parents there. It's interesting. Anytime I watch, pre honestly, pretty much any clip from the show, it really brings me back to that exact moment. And I can remember that feeling of, I, I remember walking into the room and I saw a laptop. And anytime you walked into the room, you know, you knew you were going to get interviewed by them. And I walked in and I saw a laptop and I knew. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a message from home. And I thought it was either going to be that or a, like rules on the next steps of what was going to happen. 
and when I turned it on and I saw it was my parents, I crumbled. And I think the reason why I crumbled is because they, God, every time I talk about it, I get choked up, but I, they, I, I, I was picturing them getting the call of like, we need you to make this video. And that to me, like I remember watching that video and being just like, like it's real, like I do miss them so much. A lot of real moments, no doubt about it. One of the uh, one of the other clips, you carrying Tom Sandoval on your back. <laughs> yeah. That one and, doesn't make me cry anymore, and, that and, one I laugh at. And Q, I mean, those are the types of physical sort of challenges that you really have to push them through in, in, in this kind of this kind of thing. 100%, and we're looking for someone to step out and be that that person, that leader, and that alpha, and take charge of that, and she showed that. So when we saw that, it was like, oh, okay, she's just gonna do it. She's just gonna grab him and go. And it was like, okay. And that's what we was looking for, and that's why she has such a rapport with a lot of the, the DS. Not just myself, Billy, Foxy, Rudy. We all looked at her as one of the, the, the head charges and the ringleaders of the whole crew. All right, well. I've never heard that before. Uh, Dang, girl, look at this girl. I really started crying now. So much. We love to see it. All right. Well, good luck in the season finale. Of course, it is right here on Fox 5. It'll be on Monday night. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't JoJo Siwa and Javon Q. Orals. All right. We'll be